Souls RNG ER1 is super close. This is why I'm going to be covering everything we know about Souls RNG ER1 today in this video. But before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe to see more Souls RNG content. Let's go into the Discord server, let's go. Here we are in the Souls RNG update progress for Eon 1 and today we are going to be going over everything we know. So the map is fully complete and it was apparently done a long time ago. I like how they've added like sort of like text after it so we know like what is left to do. So the map's done, the aura is 9 out of 10 so that's practically finished. The year is 9 out of 10, that's nearly done, UI is 9 out of 10 and so is system so these four over here are like nearly done the roblox innovation awards is seven out of ten and that is nearly done and the testing is four out of ten so we are really close but we are here to see what is like going to be added so here we go to sneak peeks so here we are in the sneak peeks tab and we go down to the aura storage this has changed a ton as you can see it like I think this looks a lot more better and this is coming out in Eon 1. You can see all the auras we have there and it has like aura information like when you rolled it, how much rolls, how much luck you had and the time discovered which I think is really really cool. Here is another, here's another up close on it with all the auras. See we have Cobb Diabolly, Undead, Celestial, Hades, Chromatic, Abyssal Hunter and Soul. Now this was posted on the 31st of August. It is a house rework and as you can see this looks a lot better because this is the house now. And this is the house here. So we've added like a bed. Basically everything you see here is brand new and I think it could be a little bit bigger than the current house we have so that is good because the current house we have isn't the largest let's just say and here we are people do think this is a meteor biome but I think this is going to be a caves update as you can see here because it's like all dark but we will only find out when Eon 1 comes out. The next sneak peek is this which is just another angle of it. Here is the collection sneak peek and you can see it has the aura name and which it is so the requirements and conditions and loads of text there and you can see this is all the auras and you can also replay the cutscene and also you can start and stop the music of it. Here we have just some like things you can see close-ups on like the aura, how much it is and the condition. So hazard 1 7000 it can be got during corruption. Rare 1 in 16 and you can get it any biome. Glitch 1 in 12 million 210,110 and you can only get it during glitch. Here we have a map update and as it's loaded in you can see the icon is different so I think that it's going to be the Eon 1 icon and I think it looks a lot better than the current loading screen. If we go in here there's a start and an update log where you can see all the updates. So if we go to click start we we seeing that the map is a lot larger and I think there's two leaderboards. There's like a grey one and a golden one. I think the golden one is global and the grey one is a server leaderboard. As you can see, the obby has changed and it's a lot different now. If we head over to the mountain, we can see the house and there's Rick's UGC, so that's why you're going to be buying our UGC. But if we go back to the house, if you look carefully, you'll be able to see the bookshelf inside of it. So when the camera turns, you can see the bookshelf there. And we're gonna head up the mountain now. Now we are nearly at the top. We can see a trophy something, and I'm wondering if that could give you a buff, but we will only find out when Eon 1 releases. That leak was absolutely massive, and it was two minutes long. 
and this one on the 16th of September we got we got an Aura cutscene rework by 53 Axis so we play that So that is cool. And then 23rd of October 2024, we got... Which I think that's going to be for the 1 in 1 billion aura. On the 26th, we got a lot. We could see we got three badges from the first league. Then XYZ said, why only three? And then... Whoa. <laughs> We now have a lot of badges, we can say. That is absolutely mad. So the inactive ones, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 inactive ones. 14 new achievements, 11 normal achievements, 3 hidden achievements. And then yesterday, we got another sneak peek, which is 2 days in a row. We go down here. I have no clue what that's going to be, but that is going to be amazing, I can already tell. We also got a Halloween event that is now ended, but the contest inside the Discord. Both contests will be ending in a week, so best wrap up and hurry the submissions before voting process begins. Lastly, the prizes. In addition, a trivia tournament will be starting this week for 5,000 Robux and the tournament winner roll. Mm -hmm. What has the have they given out that role yet? Let's get past all the nitro boosters. I think that they have given it out. This tournament will be open to undead roles level 10 and above, and the stage will be made on the day of the event. More details will be told later this week. Stay tuned and begin studying up. So I think this is the winner so it will be available on friday so yes it has ended and what i think with the halloween event is that well harry aura submission is that we are going to be getting the halloween event with it so it's really really exciting but if you did enjoy this video we'll see you in the next video short on live stream because we will be live streaming souls energy eon one I am blocky hype for this, but see you later. This is Book. Goodbye.